Are you looking for a large two-story home in Dr. Phillips? I got the perfect home for you. Stay tuned. Hey guys, Joe with Orlando Home Finders, and today I'm in Dr. Phillips showcasing a beautiful two-story home. This house is just over 4,500 square feet, six to seven bedrooms, four and a half to five and a half bathrooms, three car garage, has the media and the loft. This is a fantastic floor plan. So if you want to see this home, give me a call, Joe at 407-484-8458, or email me. Email me and my team at orlandohomefinders at gmail.com. You guys, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell for instant notifications. Like and subscribe to this channel. Comment below. And I would really love to hear your comments, tell you the truth. So when you see homes like this, this home is available to rate some contracts. So there's not many available lots in Orlando area, basically. And you can write contracts with the one thing about these homes. They start at a higher price point, especially being here in Dr. Phillips. These homes are in the mid 900s and the lots are over a hundred thousand so if you're looking to purchase here these you're going to start over a million for these properties again if you want to see these homes give me a call hey guys for now enjoy the tour so this is your exterior elevation hidden behind this humongous palm tree. Okay, so three car wide garage, three car driveway. Covered front porch. Two large windows, eight foot glass door with your iron inside. Beautiful foyer see you walk right into this grand two-story foyer your staircase on the left let's back up a little but that is super grand a lot of people have been looking for this particular floor plan where it opens up like that the front of the home you have your office flex space den this is upgraded galore this model is upgraded galore Building these homes don't cost cheap, so this is going to definitely cost a little bit to build this house. As you'll see in the price, they have it starting in the mid 900s or low 900s right now for some of these. Um, this actually is very loaded, this flex base den. Let's talk about it. You have the tray ceiling in a two-story home. That's, that doesn't happen too often. You have the tray ceiling with the crown moldings. You have the trim work on the wall. You have the double French glass doors. Engineered. For an office, you have a closet, which is no light, but you have a closet in your office space. Check that out. Light fixture, two large windows in front. All this natural light right away. Let's go back into this main space and again, wow. This is truly a gorgeous foyer. Before we enter, this is a big maze, so this is gonna be quite a long tour. This is your powder bath. You see you have your large format, 20 by 20 tall floors in your straight pattern. St storage closet right there. And then we enter into our main space. Look at this open concept. All right, so this is a very big home. 4,500 plus square feet. The space is utilized very well in this home. Every little nook, it's like a maze. When we go upstairs, even down here, there's just so much to talk about. So let's talk about this family room. A lot of things going on here. You have the tray ceiling, crown moldings. You have the tile wall, feature wall back there. But the main thing, again, when I go into homes, you can't imagine the space when they're empty. But look, you have two full-size sofas, 
the chairs, oversized table, and this has a ton of walking room. It feels even larger when you have this furniture defining this space. Understated when it is not furnished. Double walls of windows because you have a triple sliding glass on this family room and then in this kitchen area. So this is gonna be kind of a zigzag what we're gonna do here. But let's go check out this gourmet kitchen. What do you think about this island, guys? All right, we have five chairs going around this quarter circle island, semi-circle, and it's just fantastic. Again, open concept, but it has separation with the family room and that load-bearing wall across there. Really cool. High-end quartz with your mocha cabinets on the center island. This is really cool. We have some usable cabinets here and drawers, so you know that that's a very deep island, all right? So talking about a lot of things here, let's go around. This is a gourmet upgraded kitchen, so everything is a la carte. You're gonna be buying everything, so this has the microwave and oven on the wall. You have your 42 inch cabinets. This is a gas community, guys. Brushed handles, five burner cooktop. Glass subway tiles, chimney style, industrial range hood. And before we leave this area, let's check out how this pantry works. Amazing sized pantry for this home. Fits right in. Okay, over here you have your refrigerator, 24 inch panel and cabinet on top of that. So really formal dining or kitchen nook. Eight seated table. You have your three transom windows back there. Then you have your outdoor space. Triple slider over here, triple slider over there. All around. So I'm gonna be zigzagging all around the space because there's just so much to see. So let's go to this really unique space here, that little cubby. Look at this, a double workspace for your kids. If you're in the kitchen cooking, they could do all their homework here, or this could be your space for your cookbooks, or just an extra space. It's a, I would love to have this. You have your high-end cabinets, quartz countertops, drawers, everything right there, okay? And while we're here, storage anybody? All right, there's a huge storage underneath the staircase. All right, so this is your drop zone with your baskets and shelves. This three car oversized garage. And you know every time I explain things in the videos, look at that little indent right there. So this is very, if you got a long truck, no problem. Even if you had a little boat, you could put it here. Ah, check this out. Oh, I don't think so, yes. A little storage underneath here. That's really cool. All these little added bonus again. This house is fully upgraded. Everything is going to be a design option. I already went in through here. All right, so we're gonna zigzag again. Right down the middle here, you have this wall dividing this to these spaces, but one thing that you're gonna notice, you have double triple sliders, double triple sliders. Let's go out here. 
into your outdoor living space, this is expansive. This is a huge covered lanai. This has the upgraded summer kitchen. It has your industrial grill, your wet sink. What is this? What is this? Oh, that's just an opening. And then you have your refrigerator and your granite counters out here. Another thing that you're gonna notice, you have travertine. So this travertine expands out into this open patio here. So you're looking at this floor plan, 4,500 square feet. The house next to us is 4,200 square feet. And this yard is bigger. I guess that's a deeper square footage, but you can see you can put a much bigger pool on this yard than that one because you have an additional, say 10 feet. No, about five feet on the side. But look at this. What do you guys think about this? Let me take a video from here. So this is a fire pit, glass fire pit. You have your tile surrounds and then your travertine upper. All right, so I'm kind of giving it away here. You can see it has the second floor balcony. That's, that's a huge, huge plus. Would you screen your second floor balcony here in Florida? I don't know. I think second floor balcony, I may not. I may not do it. All right, so this is, in, is a primary down. Okay, it's the primary. Well done, okay. So to your design, really take any room into the next level. You've got three large windows in the back, two windows oversized. This is a perfect sized primary. It's not monstrous, definitely not monstrous, but it's perfect, really. You have enough for a seating area on that side, tray ceiling, trim work on the walls. Just perfect, really. Let me go around the other side. I'm saying that because my last clients that are looking at this that we showed today, they said this primary is a little bit on the small side, but that's a huge king size bed, good size tables. This is enough room. This is more room that you'll ever need unless you need a whole sitting, other sitting area. Primary bath, very elegant. These colors are very natural, clean, crisp colors. We have the wood look tile floors in here, 70-30 pattern, quartz countertop. This has the oval undermount sink shaker style, white cabinets with the brushed. Another vanity over here. Linen closet. And then you have the powder uh, water closet right there. Same thing on this side. So what we have here is a super shower. You have large format tiles, straight pattern. You have the six inch Stella strip. You have the honeycomb floors. You have the rain head shower, shampoo niche. These are all the added upgrades that you would choose to do when you build a house. So this model is not for sale, but if it was, it would come at a cost because this is a model. Primary closet. Great size closet, comes all the way around. I do little California style closets in here. I know a lot of people at this price point don't like wire shelvings. I wouldn't want wire shelvings for a million dollar home. This is definitely a million dollar home at the end of the day. Let's check out the second floor. What do you think about that first floor guys? I love this treaded stairs, how the stair treads sideways like that. It gives you that architectural design feature. You have the wood look stairs. This is the engineered hardwood stairs with the white risers. You 
have this feature wall, really simple trim that goes across, brings so much dimension to this wall and this space. Makes that plain wall look really fancy. Then you have your hardwood hand, uh, handrails and your iron spindles. And then right away. Man, this is beautiful. All right, so looking behind us again, beautiful two-story foyer. Let's go to here. This is a maze, a lot of bedrooms up here, and a lot of baths. This is your first bedroom. Full-size bed, ton of elbow room in there. Linen closet. Oops. Couldn't get that door open. Extra wide linen closet. That's the HVAC, so I'm not gonna open that door. This is the room in the front. This is an ensuite. Very cool. Those flowers like pop out at you. Two large windows in the front. Even the closet has a window. So this is actually not an ensuite. This is a Jack and Jill. I didn't realize that on the other side. Now this is the Jack and Jill, yeah. So here's your vanity with your quartz countertop, your mocha cabinets. Large format 12 by 24 in a straight pattern. Let's come through here. Center toilet, center shower. I've seen this before. My buyer did that list level before. It looks really great in person. Same similar tile floors on the wall, straight pattern. And then over here. You come through. How did I miss this? Ah, because I thought it was a closet. There you go. That's what you get for not going into closets. And then the closet for this room is right here. So we can go through this room, and there's a this is a Jack and Chill, but let's go through the other way and come back around here. So right right here, <laughs> which way should I go? I'm gonna go around roundabout let's go around about and then make our way around so this is the media room that we're talking about really cool thing about this room is that you'll see in a second a lot of cool things and this has your wet bar all this featured wet sink with your double Beverage refrigerators, wine refrigerators, microwave. This your little entertainment center right there. Wow, super awesome. All right, so let's give it up. This is what makes this pretty awesome. So, this media room you could use as your home theater. It has your slider to your balcony. So that's pretty awesome. Two huge transom windows. And then you could go into the balcony. I am going to go out to the balcony and kind of give it up to this awesome space right now. All right, let's take a look. So that's pretty much the lots. That you're gonna see there's not many lots remaining. And again, they're gonna be literally a hundred plus thousand, more like a hundred and 60 to start on the remaining lots. Some are 400,000 on the pond and then a million plus for the larger custom lots. So you have again, two windows and then the, surrounded by these double sliders. Just gave that one up. So let's go into that room. Second floor balcony. How many of you guys use your second floor balcony? How many guys actually use your second floor balcony that have a second floor balcony? 
Okay. All right, so reach back. Love how the interior design. I really like natural cream colors, brown tones. I, I love this type of design. I mean, I tried grays and I love grays and modern, but really like the soft, soft design. But there's so much going on with this room. Let's start by giving it up to that ton of natural light with this large slider. We have the window over there. Let's come back here. So much going on over here. Seating area, another window. I'm gonna skip that door for now, but check this out. Your own ensuite, high-end water closet on the left. So this is probably gonna be throughout the rest of the bathrooms with the quartz, mocha, brushed. This large format tile. This is one of the builders that kind of go through the same things in the bathrooms when you choose. Same thing with the Listello, straight pattern, large format tiles. Clay shelves, what do you guys think about this clay soap dishes? Not a huge fan of that. I'd rather do a glass or a shampoo niche that has the seat, the shower bench, and then this is your closet. It's a great size closet actually. All right, this is gonna be a long tour, guys. Almost there, but man, look at this. This area is long. There's just so much to do here. I mean, this is 45, 4,500 square feet, guys. All right, open up every door, linen closet. Whole other corridor over here. Two more bedrooms. And the bath. This is your laundry room. Is there a laundry room downstairs? Let's double check that. So this is fully upgraded. You can see tile floors. Same thing as the bath with the quartz and the mocha cabinets. This has a wet sink. The upper cabinets. So this is, and it's really big. You have your folding table back there. Full size bedroom. I can take some design tips from these homes. Mix and match. Gold leaf paintings, frames. Broken closet. All right, almost there guys, almost there. Shared bath for this area. Drawers galore, I'm telling you. Got a bath, I was looking at your bath. Are there drawers? Drawers come in very handy. All right, so toilet and the shower. This is unique. It's kind of like a lower shower. So if you're tall, that's gonna hit you. That's a weird one. Anyway, same tiles throughout. You've got that clay soap dish. And then second floor, you have the shower pan. Farewell. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that tour. This is a beautiful home. This is your opportunity to build a brand new house here in Dr. Phillips. So as you see this house, it is fully upgraded. So if you wanna see it, give me a call at 407-484-8458 or email me and my team at orlandohomefinders at gmail.com. As you see, this home is two stories. It has the master down, just over 4,500 square feet, six to seven beds, four and a half to five and a half baths, three car garage, and everything is stunning. So. These are one of those homes, base price, plus lot premiums, plus your design upgrades, plus your structural upgrades. That's your whole pricing. So this is one of the builders where, uh, that you're going to be basically choosing all of those. 
um, things don't include with this home. Everything is upgraded. Everything extended that's that's design upgrades are upgrades. So if you want to see this home, give me a call, Joe at 407-484-8458 or email me and my team at orlandohomefinders at gmail.com. If you haven't already, like and subscribe to my channel, hit the bell for instant notifications, like this video and comment below. Hey guys, I truly am thankful for you to joining me on the tours. Hey guys, have an amazing day and I'll see you around the neighborhood.